So people that are here, they're like, you know, what's he talking about cap? What's yeah. a cap? And I've heard people in Missouri and Illinois, across the Midwest, the Northeast, and, you know, California, they're like, well, we don't have, I've never heard the weather people here talk about talk the about cap. It, like, yeah. well, you don't have a cap there. We have a cap here, and I'm going to explain to you why. And I'll also explain to you what it does. So where, what is the cap? Well, we first of all have to understand where it comes from. You see that red area that I've drawn here? I've drawn this red area across the high plateaus of Mexico, okay? So the Mexican plateau, what do we have there this time of year? Well, we have warm air on the high plateaus of Mexico. It flows to the north, and it moves right across the state of Texas. So if you're from parts of the Midwest, certainly the upper Midwest, or maybe the East Coast or West Coast, you don't have a cap because you're not near the source region of the cap, which is the high plateaus of Mexico. We're right here. We're just north of the source region of the cap. So anytime we have a storm, a strong system moving in, it just pulls up that warm air uh, and it that pulls it up and it places it right on top of North Texas. So that warm air in the cap, it originates from the higher elevation and the dry regions of Mexico, and it's in place across North Texas, across really across the entire state of Texas, but right now uh, across uh, the northern sections of Texas. So what happens is we have this warm, unstable air. It's starting to rise, and that unstable air near the surface, it rises rapidly to make thunderstorms. Well, what happens? Remember, we have that warm, stable air that's blown in from the high plateaus of Mexico, the warm, stable air, the cap is in place. That unstable air rises and it hits the bottom of the cap. That rising air is blocked by the cap and that just acts like a lid and it allows thunderstorms to not turn severe. We could have a little bit of rain. We could maybe have a rumble of thunder, but these thunderstorms will struggle to form most of the time like they did tonight and they'll just fizzle out before we even have any lightning. So how can you break a cap? We didn't have any of these uh, elements today, but the air heats up enough to break the cap. What would break the cap? How warm of air today? We needed 94 degrees. We only made it into the upper 80s, so we didn't have warm enough air to break the cap. A disturbance has to move overhead. That provides enough lift to overcome the cap. The dry line didn't even make it into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It stayed well to the west of us tonight. We didn't have a cold front or a dry line. That didn't move in to provide any extra lift, so consequently the cap stayed in place. It didn't break. We didn't have any thunderstorms. Certainly no severe thunderstorms across the area tonight.